Welcome to Apiary Eats. Are your wooden spoons looking a little lackluster? Well, good news, because today we're going to learn how to make spoon butter. Okay, what you're going to need today is a pot with about an inch or two of water. Another pot that you don't mind getting dirty or a wax melting pot. I like to use this because it's a little bit easier to pour into your container afterwards. A container for your finished product. I like to use mason jars. About eight ounces of mineral oil. And two ounces of beeswax. Okay, first thing you're gonna do, take your pot. I already have my uh, one to two inches of water in another pot. I have it on medium to medium high heat. You're going to put your wax in the pot that you don't mind getting dirty and use a double boiling method. So just this pot is going to go into your boiling water. You don't want the wax to touch the bottom of the, the heating element, otherwise it'll burn it. Okay, so our wax is about melted now. We have a little bit more to go but it's enough that we can add our mineral oil. So let's do that. Okay, you just wanna make sure you do that a little bit before all of the wax is completely melted so they incorporate really well. The wax is completely melted, so we're just going to pour it into our mason jar now. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Now you just have to wait for it to cool and then you can spoon it onto your spoons. Rub it in really well and wipe it off and they'll be nice and protected. Okay, so the spoon butter is actually pretty solid. If It feels kind of like uh, chapstick. So the easiest way I do it is I just use my spoon to get a little bit off. And then the heat from your hands as you rub it into the spoon will melt it just enough. Once you rub it in really well, and you'll just get a, a, a towel to wipe off the excess. And make sure you don't put your wooden spoons into the dishwasher. Always wash them by hand. All done. Thanks for watching this episode of Apiary Eats. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. We'll see you next time.